M0 FXB, welcome back to my videos learning the Kenwood TM D750. There's a new photograph that I've just spotted on the Facebook group. Now, please join that Facebook group. I'll put a link in the description and it's run by Don Arnold, who we all know is passionate about the Kenwood D75 TM750 and I'm sure many other products and also a lovely guy who wants to help everyone and just be part of this great hobby. So I want to draw your attention to, you know, along the top here, we've got all these icons. So this is going to give us a hint of uh, of what's in store. And this is a tri-band radio. It will transmit USA 220 megs. So let's start from the left, but, but I'm going to quickly say, yes, it's got GPS. Yes, it's got Wi-Fi and, uh, and Bluetooth. So chuck that one out there straight away. And D Star, of course, DR mode, APRS, DigiPeter, TNC. And the screen is virtually identical to the D75, the Kenwood D75, but this radio does do more and it's more powerful. I'll have to double check, but I'm pretty sure it's 50, 50 watt radio. So if you start at the top left, you've got Vox, which means you won't need a PTT if you use Vox. You've got WX, weather channels, GPS logo there. This little swirly one, I'm not sure what that one is. I'm seeing the red, that tells me that it's gonna be voice record. Oh, we've got P, possibly priority channel, time and Wi-Fi. And then here's a big one. And I really want you to look at these, these, the Wi-Fi and the two SD cards. Why have two SD cards? Uh, I don't know why, but I'm gonna say in a minute, I'll look at a leaflet and point something out and give a possibility. But of course, this is gonna work with Blue DV Connect, which works via Bluetooth. So you don't need a hotspot if you use that app. Also, it has terminal mode that gives you lots of possibilities, interaction with software via Bluetooth. And I'm hoping that it will still work with the Kenwood big screen software that you get for that we get with our 75 or we can actually control the whole radio and that one uh, in in um well I'm not going to mention HF because I don't actually know if this one does HF um uh, via the big screen of course free software with Kenwood and it's very good software lock button you've got a little speaker icon there and then it says here PMS, tell me what PMS is and it's very clear and they've made it very clear here that it does DR mode and has APRS and this is proper APRS uh, no disrespect to icon but this is the full version of APRS digipeter all that kind of stuff what a beautiful radio backlit with a, a back screen then we've got dedicated buttons here on off and then it says volume squelch here and it looks like you've got a dedicated button for A it says A here and B for volume and squelch uh, the, the buttons aren't itemized completely, but you have got PM here, key, F, and PF2. Normally, when you see PF, it means it's a programmable button. And then along the bottom, you've got mode, tone. So it's quite easy to program. Reverse, PF1. On the left there, you've got VFO, memory button, full menu button, and call which I would say is probably your home button. Now let's have a quick look at the, the leaflet here. Now this is going to be on display. Is it Hamvention, Dayton? Uh, in the next, I think it's on the 16th. Um, and you'll be able to see this radio there. The date isn't still not fully confirmed. Uh, there's still some more work happening with software and development. But, you know, it's getting close now. This is going to be, um, you know, you're going to have this in your hands quite soon. Why get this instead of the D75 or you might want both? Well, it's mobile. It's a desktop base station and it's giving you that extra power. And, you know, uh, you don't have to hold it in your hand. It just sits there and, you, can, you know, Kenwood microphone. So I really want to draw your attention to this section here because I think it's crucial. Now, you know, because we've got two SD cards, we've got Wi-Fi. It says here, built in wireless LAN, D-Star network can be accessed directly and easily using direct mode without the need for external devices. So with ICON radios, we would do terminal mode, but then we would grab a Raspberry Pi and then we would... Uh, put the SD card in there with, uh, you know, with the Pi Star image on it. And then, it, you know, off we go connected using all the reflectors. Yeah, like a hotspot. But 
This is the key thing here. This is saying that it's built into the device. And now I can't confirm this. You know, no one's confirmed this, but this is my, you know, speculation. And 100% keep an eye on the Facebook page uh, and that. So underneath it says reflector terminal mode. The built-in MMDVM command enables easy access to D-Star reflectors via a Windows PC or Android device using a USB connection to Bluetooth. So keep an eye on that. And then simultaneous dual reception. This is cross-band repeat. Um, and it does say there underneath there, built-in KISS TNC. So we'll just end it just saying that you can receive on the A-band have a chat with your friend on the B band and when you when you transmit yeah you will still hear the A band not many radios do that there are radios that do and this is you know this is a big deal so you've got the Kenwood quality which let's face facts A1 quality dual band radio D star VHF UHF 220 megs the cross band is on 2 meters and 70 GPS live receive there uh, so this is a fantastic device and um, and you're going to be driving one of the best dual bands ever made here and you know remember this is primarily vhf uhf band so give it a go please hit the like subscribe to my channel make sure you i'll put it in the description that you subscribe to the facebook group by don arnold and and um i'll put any other links that i've got here with the leaflets and pamphlets Thanks so much for watching my channel. Always appreciate it. 7-3, all the best.